गुड मॉर्निंग व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू बजो श्रीनिवास चैनल आई एम वेरी हैप्पी बी इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू अगेन टू एक्सप्लेन वन मोर टॉपिक इन द थर्ड चैप्टर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन दिस इज द लास्ट टॉपिक इन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन लेट एस सी हाउ कैन यू प्रूव दैट द फ्लोएम टिश्यू इज ट्रांसपोर्टिंग फूड मेटीरियल्स फ्लोएम टिश्यू इज ट्रांसपोर्टिंग द फूड मेटीरियल्स फ्रॉम द लीव्स टू डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द प्लान फॉर दट वन एक्सपेरिमेंट कंडक्टेड बाय द बायोलॉजिस्ट दे ऑब्जर्व सम इंसेक्ट लाइक एफिड्स they also called a green fly are gathering around the soft stem portions of certain plants and they have a long sharp pointed proboscis with this long sharp pointed proboscis they are piercing the stem up to the phloem sieve tube and sucking the juices then what is phloem sieve tube actually phloem is made up of it uh, certain types of cells in that phloem parenchyma sieve tubes sieve cells companion cells etc so with this uh, different types of cells the phloem tissue is composed then uh, how they came to know the aphids are piercing its proboscis up to the phloem tissue and sucking the juices for that they did uh, an activity on the aphids what they did let us see they observed one a few insect which is piercing its proboscis into the soft stem of a plant and sucking the juices this is a sharp pointed proboscis which is inserted or pierced the soft stem portion and uh, this is the bark this is the epidermis and uh, this is the phloem and in the middle in the middle we can find the xylem tissue up to phloem region the proboscis is pierced inside 
and slowly sucking the nectar that was observed by the scientists especially biologists and they cut the proboscis near to the mouth of the insect then the insect fall down afterwards it was died then uh, from this proboscis cut portion from this proboscis cut portion there was a fluid there was a fluid oozing out and falling near the base of the soil or near the base of the stem and this fluid is collected by the biologists and test in the laboratory they found that that fluid contain sugar as well as amino acids by this they understood that the cut portion of the proboscis is pierced up to the phloem tissue and uh, sucking the juices and getting the food materials by the insects so by this we can say that the phloem tissue is the tissue which can transport the food materials which are prepared in the leaves to different parts of the plant body then uh, one more experiment also we can observe when you see the cut portion of the bark of a tree for example this is the one uh, tree and uh, its a bark was cut off around about 25% on both the sides and this bark having a uh, dead cells and uh, they are above the epidermal cells and uh, this is the this is the phloem tissue and cut off here such that the food materials from the top portion are not moving down which one is phloem uh, tissue here this is the phloem tissue okay phloem tissue is completely cut off and uh, when this phloem tissue is completely cut off the food materials from the shoot system is not moving down because there is no continuation of phloem from up to down here there is a cut or what we can say this is called girding or cut portion then after some days you can see there is a bulging of bark due to the accumulation of food from the phloem tissue is absorbed it is only on the above the girdle but not below the girdle because below the girdle there is no continuous supply of food but above the girdle the food is supplied and accumulated 
at the cut portion so it was bulging so this bulge also indicates that the phloem is transporting food materials which was prepared in the shoot system to different parts of the body even the root system also can receive it so by this way one can prove that phloem tissue is transporting food materials from the leaves to different parts of the body thank you one and all have a nice day